Monday, April 25, 2022. First, let's see the lunch menu for the day. Lunch today is grilled cheese or ham, eggs, and cheese with biscuit. Side choices are strawberry applesauce, sliced pears, hash brown, or peas. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Join me for the Dauphin Daily Pledge. Today is a new day. I will act in a safe and healthy way. I will do the right thing and be polite. I will respect others and treat people right. I will take responsibility for me. Today I will be the best I can be. So in my job, I'm an attorney. I have to interview people and ask them questions about what happened. And I gotta get a story from them. And I gotta see what their story is so that I can take their story and tell other people what that story is. But everybody has different stories. So it's always interesting to put it together. It's kind of like a puzzle. My favorite part really is getting to work with other people. Because I don't do everything by myself. I have a team at my job in my office. So I get to work with other lawyers. Um, I have what's called a paralegal and they do a lot of research too. So when you're working with good people, sometimes you get to work with people who become your friends. Um, that's really cool. I really like that. After high school, I went to college for four years. Um, and then to become a lawyer, I had to go to law school, which is three more years for some people. Um, it can be four years, it can be longer, but when you go to law school, that's where you get your law degree. Um, and that's how I became a lawyer. When I was in college, um, I didn't have to study law to become a lawyer. I actually studied literature and theater. So I got to read a lot of really good books and write about them. Um, and I got to be an actress on stage, and then I became a lawyer. There are two big tests I had to take. One, it was called the LSAT, the LSAT, and it's kind of like the test you're getting ready to take. It's a lot of, you read the questions and then you have four choices, the multiple choice questions. Um, I had to take that test to get into law school. I had to take what's called the bar exam, and I had to pass that test in order to become a lawyer so that I could work and practice law. The best advice I can say is to, as much as you can, just practice those tests talk to other people who have maybe taken the tests, who can give you advice on it. When you're actually sitting there taking the test, um, just try to take a deep breath and remain calm so that your head is clear and you can read what's in front of you and think about what the different answers are. But practicing really helped a lot when I was preparing to take that test. You know, people are good at different things when it comes to taking tests. 
I'm not very good at multiple choice tests. I have a lot of trouble with those sometimes. So to get better at it so that I could pass the test, I just practiced a lot. I had books that I could take practice tests for, um, and that really helped me prepare for it. And then the other part of the test was actually writing an essay, kind of like a book report, you know? Um, and that I felt more comfortable with because I like writing. Um, and so, you know, but I still, even to take the test, had to practice how to write it. So lots of practice um, because I wanted to make sure I only had to take the test one time. Is try not to be too nervous about it. You've got everything you need to know up there. Um, you've got really great teachers that have helped you prepare for it. And you know, the best thing you can do when you walk in to take that test is just say to yourself, I know what this is going to be about. I know what I need to do. And I'm going to do it today. And then you won't be as nervous about the test. And that's what I kind of had to do with all the tests I had to take to uh, to get where I am today. So try not to be nervous and have a good breakfast beforehand. That's all we have for today's SES Rewind. Thanks for watching. Have a great, a great day. day.